follow whatever your passion is. Don't follow what you think might be easiest. Mm. Novels are tough, but screenplays are tough in their own way too. Screenplays can be done quicker than a book, but follow whatever you're passionate about. But secondly, be prepared to admit, to meet rejection. <laughs> be prepared because everybody, I remember I was talking about Dustin Hoffman. Mm -hmm. He told me a story I've never forgotten. When he was at the height of his power in Hollywood, and that was in a Hollywood that actually doesn't exist anymore, mm -hmm. but he could snap his fingers and studios would jump. He said, you think I've got such power? He said, listen, years ago, after I had, had all these big hits of The Graduate and Midnight Cowboy and Oscars and all this stuff, I went into a trough. I was doing films like Who is Harry Kellerman mm. and Alfredo Alfredo films that nobody saw. I was yesterday's news. Mm. I was washed up. And you've got to be able to expect the troughs. Mm. And you've got to be able to expect people say, oh, that's no good, and move on. So that's just part of it. I think part of the, uh, the advice that I was given recently, and it's good advice that I take to heart, uh, you have to, you know, you, you need the persistence. Mm -hmm. And you need to sort of look at somebody's no as simply in your mind meaning next. Yeah. You know, because that's their no. That's yeah. not your no. Yeah, you absolutely right? need to make it that way. But the, but the kind of codicil to that is you also need to be very realistic with what you're hearing. Mm -hmm. And if somebody has a better point than you do, then you have to acknowledge it. I always remember I was directing a famous movie star, okay. really powerhouse movie star. And he would come in every morning and he would stand this far from me and he had 20 new ideas for the way it, it should be shot. And I think, oh my God, he had one idea. Shoot the scene with him lying on the kitchen counter. And I thought, that's the truly dumbest idea I've ever heard. And, but a voice in me said, no, wait a minute. Maybe there's something there I didn't see. Maybe he's right. So we tried it his way and it was way better. Mm -hmm. So you've always got to know what you are all about, but mm -hmm. you've got to be able to say, hmm, maybe I should look at that, you know? Very important. Now, does that come with maturity, that open-mindedness? 